Hello guys and welcome to a new episode of the Watch One channel. Today I'm going to present to you a watch that I've bought and already sold again. I mean, this simply reveals the kind of flipper I am. And I'm talking about a glycine. And it's not a regular glycine, it's a bronze watch. At this time I was wearing my Seiko SBDZ033. And a death review is going to follow in a couple of uh, days on the channel. But... Let's go to the glycine. It comes with a nice box. And um, yeah, I, somehow I knew that sooner or later I would get a glycine because I was simply interested in the quality they delivered. And um, this glycine is a bronze glycine. Um, I haven't bought it with the um, original bracelet. Uh, it's with an aftermarket bracelet. It simply fits way better to the watch. Um, although I discovered that those um, um, silver dots are not really into in line with the diver layout. Uh, it's the GL0174, uh, the bronze edition. It shows some patina um, just by uh, the reaction with the oxygen that is in the air. Um, it's very thin. Um, it's a diver's watch and a very classic design. Of course, it's um, the orientation comes from the Rolex Submariner, no doubt about it. It has nice um, uh, 22 millimeter lock width, so it's quite versatile when it comes to straps. It has this buckle that is also in line with the coloring of the bronze. Um, the bezel action is very, very good. No play whatsoever, 120 clicks, very precise, one of the best bezel action I've experienced so far and um, yeah um, it's just a very nice watch why did I sell it uh, I sell it I sold it because somehow I, I figured out that um, the bronze was just too much for me and the red uh, uh, second hand was just over the top um, this is why I've sold the watch and to fund new acquisitions at the end of this video, I'm going to show you some pictures of this watch, also in different kind of strap. And um, as usual, please tell me what do you think about this video? How did you like it? And I uh, would be very thankful if you would subscribe to my channel, leave some thumbs up and see you in the next one.